right at home. Yes. All right. Here we go. We got Chef Vincent Alexander from Sheraton. How you doing, Chef? Can't hear me. Good morning, Tina. How are you today? Can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay. Go ahead and start. We're on. All right. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, Sacramento. Uh, welcome to Chef Vincent's Quarantine Kitchen. What I want to do today is we have everyone at the house now, the kids, everyone's here at the house. And so I want to uh, give you some ideas of making dinner and having everyone participate, have some fun doing it, right? This is it. We're going to make fresh pasta today. That's a really good way to get the kids involved. Everyone likes noodles, so you can't miss on that one like that. Uh, today we're going to be working with a fresh egg noodle. Very simple recipe, two cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of semolina, six eggs, and a little bit of olive oil, touch of salt, and you're good to go. If you'd like to flavor your pasta, feel free to put some paprika or some flavors in there, but just make sure the ingredients you add aren't crunchy because they're going to go through the pasta machine and rip it. The only piece of equipment you really need to have for this is this pasta machine, and you need these on Amazon for about 40 bucks. This is a professional model, so it's a little bit bigger. And what we're going to do is they're all pretty much the same um, uh, configuration. I'd roll down a little bit of the pasta dough, we're going to put it on its biggest setting, and just roll it through once. And then what I want to do is fold the sides over so that I have nice straight edges. This helps, especially if you're going to do something that, uh, like with ravioli. And so basically we're just going to go down and roll this down nice and thin. How many, time, how many times through? Um, you want to go about one number at a time. You'll notice that there's numbers on the side here. And depending on what you're going to use the pasta for is how thin you want to go. Oh, if I'm okay. doing a fettuccine, I'm going to go a little bit thicker. But if I'm going to fold it over like for a ravioli, then I'm going to go a little bit thinner. Okay. So I rolled some out earlier, got it nice and ready here for you. You can okay. see, I can almost see my hand through it. And I'm just going to cut this into a nice fettuccine cut. So we're going to go like so. And just give it a nice little cut. Oh, look at you. Like so. And we have a nice fettuccine kind of puffered and everything. As you're storing your fresh pasta, put a little bit of semolina on it and use that as your dusting agent so it keeps it from sticking together. Okay. I had some done a little bit earlier here. I'm just going to pop that in some nice fresh uh, boiling water, a little salt, a little oil, right? And some of the other things you can do with the same pasta is make some other shapes. And so we're going to make a nice rigatoni type shape with the back of a wooden spoon. Just roll it up like so. Really fun to do. Let it sit for a few minutes. You can let these dry and put those off. Everyone can make their own uh, type of shape. And then we're going to let this cook. Fresh pasta takes a little bit less time to cook than, than uh, dry pasta. So it's about three, four minutes like that. And then what I like to do is when I take it out of the water, I don't rinse it in, in cold water. I'm going to toss it and I'm going to allow and toss it in some olive oil and let it naturally dry. This way it doesn't suck into that cold water and, and lose the flavor of the pasta. You can see it's a nice uh, tender pasta. Oh, nice. And, Okay. Yes, and we can, um, if you like, you can make raviolis out of this pasta if you like, just by folding it over, putting ingredients here, using your, your ring cutter like that, put some cheese in there, that kind of stuff, right? And that's um, pretty much, here's our, our pasta to go there, boiling water going there. And the next hour, we're making a great sauce for it, add a little Alfredo sauce, some butter noodles for the kids, and some fresh oh, good. tomato marinara sauce to go with it. Wonderful. You made it easy. I know there's a little flour shortage. A lot of people are having a hard time finding flour. Maybe you can give us tips on that, too. All right, Chef Vincent Absolutely. Alexander well, we from Sheraton. just want to have something to do with the kids and, uh, yeah. and share that communal time of dinner. It's a really there you important go. part. All right, thank you so much. Next hour, sauce, Alfredo sauce. We'll be right back. There you go.